Smiley! What's up, Adam? We're back for another weekly episode. We are. Yeah, so um, we just did, uh, we just recorded, people can go over to YouTube, youtube.com slash MTB Shed, they should subscribe there. Sure. Um, plenty of videos of Linda, as everyone sees on screen now. Um, but we post a bunch of different videos like openings. Um, we've got a Cowley order here we're going to go through. But we just got done talking to your coach, Cody Jones, from Wheels Up MTB. Um, so people should check that out um, and check Wheels Up MTB out. So uh, as I said, we've got an order opening here. You guys mm -hmm. can see a little glance. This Ooh. is Cowley. So you guys may or may not be familiar with Cowley. Um, go ahead, open that other flap up. Um, so we've got a few different things from them. Uh, Cowley's been a brand we've carried in the shop ever since we opened. Cowley's a really cool company. Um, I'm not sure where they're from. Nevada? Yeah. No, they're from California. Mm -hmm. um, Northern California, I believe. They make a lot of mountain biking gear. They also make some moto stuff. Um, Cowley has some neat, unique, interesting helmets. Um, the Invaders, kind of their full face helmet, super lightweight. So we've got that in there. We got a really neat youth helmet um, that's got, it's a full face youth helmet with a removable chin. Um, and then some, some pads and stuff from them. So I figured we'd run through those with you guys real quickly. Um, but again, go over to youtube.com, subscribe there, check out the podcast we recorded this week with Cody uh, from Wheels Up MTB, find out what they're about. A lot of good information for parents maybe who are trying to get their kids into mountain biking, those sub 12 year olds, um, all the way up to adults as far as the camps and coaches. And I think Wheels Up is gonna, they're kicking back off their Monday night their Maniac Mondays are um, mm -hmm. the fun ride for those those 24-inch yep. and up kids, the new people to mountain biking. So um, very cool. Um, let's bust out that Invader real quick. Right. I think people would like to check it out. This is the Invader 2.0. Um, the Invader has been a fan favorite of um, uh, bulb folks. It breathes so well. Like it, this helmet's so crazy. You can see, you can like feel air hitting you in the head. Um, so I really like that. Did you look up any stats on the Invader, like weight? Uh, I didn't see weight, but I did see their warranty. An LR, so lifetime warranty, basically. Yeah. So that's cool. Cowley is super neat in the fact that um, they have a lifetime warranty on all their helmets. This helmet retails around 250 bucks, a little bit less, like that's 225. Um, the Cowleys have a lifetime crash replacement. So if you get into a hard crash in your Cowley helmet, um, you just send it back to Cowley. You got to pay for shipping to get there, um, but um, you can, they'll, they'll get you a new helmet. So we've got fans trying to bang down the doors as always. Like it's every time we hit record, right? Yeah, we're, this is, uh, if anyone's, you may miss like the old TRL days, but people used to line up and wave and such. Oh, hold up. So that's the Cowley Invader. I got us on the low screen there. Go a little bit lower. I forgot to show. The new, what was that, BOA? No, it's the Cali version, but look at that. This yeah, like so really new. low back head coverage. Riley's going to put this helmet on for us. Oh. Wait, what size is this one? Large, extra large. Okay. So the Cali helmets are going to come in basically two sizes, from extra small to medium all the way, and then from medium to double XL. So, yeah, super breathable helmet. It's way too big for Riley, but does fit his hair. Riley has a new haircut. I don't know if the folks, they did see your new haircut in the yeah, last podcast. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's Kelly Invader. Um, it's got uh, dual stage foam in it. It's injected on the inside. So you have, um, you know, uh, kind of the best protection uh, that you can have. So kind of like a car. Yeah, with a Kelly Invader, zone. come check it out. All right, let's jump to the next one. The next one's a cool helmet. So as we look into the box, he's got another Invader there. Put that away. Um, but then next to it is Cowley's full face youth helmet. Oh, very colorful. It's an interesting box. Well, we got to show everyone the box. Let's look at that box. People can see it on the other screen. Oh. <laughs> you gotta twirl it around, you know? It is nice. So I was really excited to finally get this in. This is the Mayo full face helmet. Um, it is a youth helmet. Uh, traditionally, all the other kids' full face helmets have a little bit too much padding on it. It rips their big ears off. Um, so the Maya is a more enduro style full Ooh. face helmet. Look at that's a slick looking helmet. So I'll put it on this screen. So very nice. It's got a removable chin bar. It's got LDL in there, which is Cowley's version of MIPS. It's going to be super lightweight. Um, I mean, you can barely feel this thing. 
it's so crazy how light it is. Uh, but this is going to be for kids kind of 10 and under. Uh, it's got dial closure on the rear. You're going to have different pad sets in here to dial in your fit. Um, LDL, again, um, really nice helmets. This retails at $140, so it's very affordable. Um, and then it has a removable chin bar. Let's see if Riley can figure out how to take the removable chin bar off. Oh, well, let's see. Don't break it. I'm not going to break it. I'm not going to break push it. it push it in. Push it in. No, no, no. <laughs> Rai does not know how to do it. <laughs> Push in the button. Oh. <laughs> so sim super simple to, to take the chin bar on or off. There is little push buttons here on the side. Um, this is my first time seeing this helmet. I was able to figure that out straight away. Um, but wow. Boom. Now we have just a typical Maya helmet. Um, and to get the full face back on. This can be really nice, especially if you have a kid. I know like we experience it a lot in the shop um, that some kids when they when we try to put a full face on it's just too much for them mm -hmm. so this is a really unique way you can put the helmet on the kid and then slap the chin bar on after the fact that's right let's put let's see if riley can put it back but yeah my full face come get it it's 140 dollars if your kid's riding any mountain bike trails um if he's you know kind of four to six years old four to eight years old um, it's a really good option for $140. Um, even if they're riding street and whatnot, I think it's a really solid idea um, to get that helmet. So we're close. pretty cool. And just like that, we're back in. Yeah. So back to full face, you could do that while it's on their head. Um, if the kid's freaking out or something when he's wearing the helmet and you need to rip that chin bar off for them, you can do so. So get the Maya full face helmet for youth. Very cool. Come try it on at the mountain bike shed. Cali, again, super cool company. That has a lifetime crash replacement, as, as does every Cali helmet, even down to the $40 helmets. Wow. Um, what else we got in there? Some knee pads and stuff. So this helmet here is actually for a customer. Um, this is the Cali Maha. She bought it about two years ago. Um, she did have a crash on her e-bike. Um, she hit her head pretty hard. She called up Sorry. Cali. They sent a brand new helmet to her, no questions asked. And she didn't want to really mess with sending it back to them. So they did work with us as one of their authorized dealers. Um, she was able to bring the helmet to me. I was able to make sure it was destroyed. Um, and then they just sent this helmet to her free of charge. Um, of course, since they, I had no intention of making an order with Cowley, um, I had been wanting to for a while, but we already have so much mountain bike stuff here. Um, I hadn't ordered it. Um, but then since Cowley took care of my customers so well, I, you know, I thought, okay, let's get a whole order in. But they would have sent that out to her for free. No, so this was all just bonus for them being so great. Let's look at the new knee pads too. Good knee pads, ultralight, breathable. Look pretty long, honestly. Yeah, the missions are one of my favorites. Um, so that's the mission 2.0. They did extend the top. That was the problem with the older missions um, was this was, uh, it stopped about here um, and they would move around slightly. So by extending mm -hmm. this up the thigh, it holds a lot more securely. The Cowleys are very comfortable. You can see that molded shape on there. Um, very, very nice. Very, very. Um, this helmet's unique too. Pull this guy up. What is that helmet? What's the name of it? It is the Pace. The Pace. So there, you may ask, why do we have this Pace here? And this is a mountain bike helmet, no doubt about that. Um, that's all Cowley does. It has LDL in it. The reason why the Pace helmet's important, uh, it does come in under $100 and you get that LDL, uh, but it's going to be a double XL size. So this is going to be one of the biggest fitting helmets you're going to find on the market. It'll extend up. So it's a very big fitting helmet. So if you got a big noggin, um, the Pace Double XL is here at the mountain bike shed for you. Right. So come try that on uh, your big, big head, big brain. So we love when our big brain customers come in. Uh, we do keep Double XLs. We have pants in size 40. Um, you know, we we're in the Midwest. We got a lot of farm grown people. We we they make them big around here. <laughs> He, it, looking at me and Riley, that may not make sense to you. We're both, uh, I'm, eh, you're pretty tough, Sam. I'll give you that. Um, but yeah, that's it. Other than that, I just wanted to kind of show you guys the full face helmets from Cowley, let you know they do have that lifetime guarantee. We have a lot of Cowley helmets here in store, and Cowley's one of those companies we want to support. You know, Fox is great. Um, you know, some people like Troy Lee. Um, you know, good company, but Cowley is really kind of a, they're, they're a true Groots Rats kind of mountain bike company. So I think it's really nice that they have a product and for them to do a lifetime crash replacement is insane. 
That's, I mean, that's cool, especially it, for the just like beginner, like affordable ones too. Yeah, and if you ride, you're gonna crash. Oh, for sure. And you can, they have a program, I'm not sure, don't quote me on this, but normally if you are um, filing a crash replacement on your helmet, I think they allow you to upgrade the helmet as well. So if you want to pay wow. a difference to upgrade the helmet, because maybe you crashed and you're in a pace and you're like, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. I need more helmet than this. I need to get a full face. That, then they'll put the, what you paid for the pace towards um, the price of the invader that's so, cool that's really cool yeah very nice and they do good with like i said the helmet technology you have dual stage foam for 250 bucks the box pro frame is just the single stage foam the high speed impact foam yeah for 259 or 289 dollars <laughs> you had to get into the pro frame rs in order to get that dual stage yeah. foam to get that extra slow speed uh protection well, kind mean, of hold things together it's similar to like a car like when you if you had a car that was all steel and you just went bang mm -hmm. I picture that as your head. That's just that's gonna put more force on it. Mm -hmm. It kind of acts like a crumble zone to soften yeah. up the impact. So it, it is a big deal. Yeah, really big deal. And again, they have LDL in there, but you're you're paying closer to two hundred dollars rather than over three hundred that you're gonna pay for other brands. And worse, you crash in your Pro Frame RS. Yeah, it did its job. Yeah, it prevented maybe some some more expensive medical bills, but. I'm turning the auto director off. I can't keep fighting the camera. <laughs> um, but um, you you have to buy a new helmet. Even companies, like good companies, might maybe they do a 20, 30% crash replacement discount. Mm. Um, but with Cowley, um, if you crash that helmet, send it back to them, you just got paid for shipping. Um, and it's shipping there and they'll send out a, a new helmet. Um, so really cool, That's really awesome. neat. Um, Cowley even checked with us because it looked like we had something that ended up not being the right size for the customer. But they were like, hey, do you have this helmet here? Would you want to do it? Um, we did, but um, it was the wrong size for it. So they went ahead and shipped the other one. Yep. But yeah, and a lot of cool like youth helmets we got in different sizes and that. So if your kid needs a new helmet, don't go to Walmart, you know, support That's right. small local businesses. We'll also support your ER bill because these ones will actually save you versus Walmart is just, it's better than nothing on your head, but mm -hmm. it's not going to get the job done like these will. So excited about the Maya full face at 140 bucks. So. That's cool. Pretty sick, dude. And I love how that comes off. Now, people, I, I'm cool with that for a kid. I am not cool with any adults wearing convertible oh, yeah. mountain bike helmets. You can see how easy that came off. There's like three tabs there. Ideally, if you're wearing that helmet, you're under eight years old, you're not going to be sending it off big jumps. You're not sure. going to be going over 10 miles an hour. You should be on a 20-inch wheel bike and going at slower speeds. Yeah. Um, but if you're an adult, the reason you don't want to do convertibles because that is a very weak point on the helmet. So they oh, yeah. are very susceptible to just smacking right off. You might as well not have it there. Now, instead of just your, hit, your chin hitting like dirt and maybe a bush, maybe a tree, maybe a rock, it's for sure it's going to hit those things, but now you have a piece of plastic that's going to smack you in the face, cut your cheek open. Oh, yeah. So that's why I don't like them, um, you know, and they're heavy. If they are strong enough, they're heavy. Like motorcycle convertible helmets are heavy as all get up, like three to four times heavier than a typical um, motorcycle helmet. So yeah. um, obviously they can't make it that heavy and that durable on these. That Kali Maya is so light. I'm so excited about that helmet. Cool. I really am stoked on it's it. It's really, it's such a difference to wear something that's breathable that actually is Pull like, that back up so people uh, can see it, how nice yeah, that's it good. is. And then we'll end this thing. Oh, wait, uh, again, if you guys want more podcasts, take oh, us you to YouTube. Um, jump over to YouTube. Um, hopefully by tomorrow morning or by Thursday morning, we'll be loaded up um, with Cody there on the Wheels yep. Up MTB. Um, but, yeah, very neat helmet. Kind of four to eight-year-olds, I would guess, um, on that helmet. The Maya Full Maya. Face Child 140 at the Mountain Bike Chat. Come and get it. Save your kid's face. He Save just got those teeth. Keep them. Protect them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, till next week, yeah, go and subscribe over at YouTube um, in the meantime, and we will see you next week, guys. Is that rain?